Hello friends, welcome to PMFIS YouTube channel. This is Manjunath Tamanidi, the founder of PMFIS and the author of PMFIS Environment 2021-2022. In this video, I would like to introduce to you our recently launched environment book. I'll be walking you through the contents of the book, what are the salient features of the book and why you must purchase this book over other books that are existing in the market. Coming to the contents. We have organized the entire book into 37 chapters. The first chapter is about the salt environment prelims questions that were asked in between 2011 and 2020. So this particular chapter will help you understand the nature of questions that UPSC is asking and also the current trend that the UPSC is following. In the next five to six chapters, we have dealt with the basics of the environment topic. Among these chapters, the nutrient cycling is the most important because of its weightage. And then we have the ecosystems, natural ecosystems and wetland ecosystem. In the natural ecosystems, we have explained certain biomes and also the importance of fire in these biomes considering the recent uh, Amazon and Australian bushfire events. And in the wetland ecosystem, we have uh, explained the important topics of mangroves and Ramsar sites in India. And in the next chapter, that is evolution of the biosphere, we have introduced this particular chapter because we felt that understanding major extinction events and the causes behind them is very much relevant to the concepts of climate change and the associated topics. And in, in the next four chapters, it is all about biodiversity conservation and the causes for the loss of biodiversity, wildlife conservation and various measures, initiatives and organizations that are involved in wildlife conservation, both at the national level as well as at the international level. And then we have introduced this particular chapter on India State of Forest Report. It is a biennial report published by Forest Survey of India. The last survey was done in 2019. The next survey is in 2021 December. So this chapter is also important for prelims considering there are a lot of uh, definitions as well as the forest types in India and uh, which forest type has the highest coverage and all that. And in the next few chapters, we have dealt with the environmental degradation and uh, major environmental issues. So among these air pollution and water pollution are the most important topics. Here we have done a very good integration of both current affairs as well as the static part. In the water pollution, we have explained certain very important topics like eutrophication, algal blooms and associated topics. And then we have another chapter on land degradation. So this particular chapter is important for mains. There is a lot of stuff associated with desertification in India and the related uh, concepts. And in the next few chapters, we have explained about climate change, various impacts of climate change and the mitigation of climate change. So these chapters are very important from both prelims as well as mains perspective. And the following chapters are associated with international conventions and laws that deal with various environmental issues. So in the international conventions, we have covered in depth the UN FCC, Kyoto Protocol and related concepts. In the national environment legislation, we have covered all the important topics like Environmental Protection Act, Wildlife Protection Act, Forest Conservation Act, etc. And in the next chapter, that is Green Revolution, and sustainable agricultural practices. We have covered various important topics from both current affairs as well as static perspective. In the next two chapters, these are, these are very important chapters from the prelims perspective. One is biodiversity of India, where we have dealt with various species and their range. In the last chapter, we have dealt with important protected area networks like tiger reserves, national parks. So coming to the highlights of the book, I would say the biggest highlight are the colorful pictures which are used to explain various concepts. For environment in the market, you have all black and white books, which are very boring to be frank. That's the biggest problem this environment uh, book is going to fix. It is superior in terms of both coverage as well as quality. Above that, this vis visual representation will make your study easier. You will be able to focus longer. You can see we have a lot of uh, flowcharts, diagramic representations and all that. So definitely you will, you will have to consider this book because uh, it is a great value for money as well. So we have also included a lot of maps like you can see in these pictures. We have maps of national parks, tiger reserves and various wildlife sanctuaries in India. Here you can see a map that, that consists of all the protected area networks like national parks, wildlife sanctuaries and tiger reserves, the northeast region. So by just looking at the map, you can understand like in which state the particular location is found. And another important scheme of the book is the color codes. So the beginners would find it hard to understand what is the, the important topic and what is not case to make it easier we have introduced this scheme of color codes where we have given different colors based on the importance of the topic 
So you can just go through this color code and accordingly you can uh, try to understand how the concept is important for the exam. Now I'll quickly walk you through the contents of the book and you will understand how the presentation and design of the book is done. So this is how the content of the book looks like. We have the table of contents in which we have arranged everything in a very neat and precise manner. So whenever you want to go to our topic, you would easily find it in the table of contents. So we have in a total of 37 chapters and the detailed index is given in the beginning. And the first chapter is about solved environment prelims questions. So here we have not given the explanation, we have only given the solutions. But whenever uh, you have a topic which is relevant to a question, then that particular question is added in the respective chapter. So there we have given a very good uh, explanation of the questions. The first few chapters are all about basics. Everything is pictorially represented so that it will make your life easier while understanding the concepts. Like you can see here, the important topics of primary succession and secondary succession are explained pictorially so that you would not have struggle uh, trying to understand from the text. As you can see, like we have explained the types of biotic interactions in a food web in a pictorial format, as I myself found it really hard to understand content from text. So that's the reason uh, I have come up with a student friendly manner in which uh, we explain text along with its uh, pictorial representation so that you can retain the concepts in the long run. Here we have explained nitrogen cycle in a way that uh, there is a flow chart explaining what are the steps involved in the nitrogen cycle and what are the kind of uh, microorganisms that are involved in this uh, nitrogen cycle. Along with that on the other side we have the text. For example, uh, a very important topic called methane cycle. Methane is the second most uh, potent greenhouse gas. And nobody has given methane cycle in detail. That's the reason we have uh, put a lot of em emphasis on these kind, of, these kind of topics which are very important but are missing in the other books. Mm. Wetland ecosystem, you can see we have given a detailed explanation along with the relevant diagrams. And we have also given really good maps, I would say. And also we have a map for Ramsar sites. And in this chapter on biodiversity and loss of biodiversity, to explain various de definitions, we have used the pictorial representation. So this will definitely help you understand the concept, concepts quickly and retain them in the long run. Here we have explained coral bleaching in a pictorial format. Here in this chapter on air pollution, we have given the concept of aerosols and how aerosols affect Indian monsoons. This is a very important topic, topic for mains. And in the next section, we have given the complete detailed explanation of ozone depletion, explaining how it is related with polar vortex. Similarly, we have pictorial explanation for global warming also. Wherever necessary, we have done all the explanation with the help of picture. So the concept of biofuel is very important. So we have done photographic on that. So it will definitely help you understand both the biofuel policy as well as various biofuels. Coming to the most important chapters, diversity of India, it is important for prelims. So here we have given the species, its uh, various conservation statuses. Along with that, we have given the range of the animal so that now it will be really easy for you to remember which species is, en is endemic to which particular uh, uh, area and all that. For example, there was previously a question about lion-tailed macaque. Similarly, there could be any question on any animal. And in the last chapter, that is protected area network, another very important chapter for uh, prelims. We have given detailed list of tiger reserves and national parks. And the ones here you can see which are highlighted in red. These are the ones which were ne recently notified. Ramgar, Vishdari, Tiger Reserve and then uh, Srivilli Putur Megamalai Tiger Reserve. Likewise, we have a uh, new notification for uh, national parks. Dhin Pataki Wildlife, Patkai Wildlife Sanctuary was upgraded to a national park recently. That is Raimona National Park. This, is, this was also recently notified by the government. Likewise, all the important stuff is color coded. You can see we have given different colors like orange, green and blue. You can see here we have really good maps for all the topics, uh, location based topics. Likewise, we have maps for tiger reserves also. And then we have maps for wildlife sanctuaries and uh, all the tiger reserves and national parks are region wise. And in the list itself, we have given the color codings to make sure that you, you, you understand which one to focus and which one to just exclude. For example, 
there are about 550 wildlife sanctuaries and not every wildlife sanctuary is important to avoid the trouble for you i have already marked them in the sense i've given color coding to make you make sure that you would focus on only on those concepts as you can see in the explanation also we have given a lot of color coding to make sure that you focus only on the important topics that's it about the content guys i hope you would uh, you like the content i would say the book has got a go very good response so i would suggest everyone to consider this book it's available on amazon and the pdf is available on pmfis the links to buy the book from amazon and pmfis are included in the description you can also scan this qr code to go to the link so if you go to the website pmfis.com this is the product we are talking about environment gs notes plus current affairs for upsc ias civil services exam just if you click on that and from there you can just add to the cart and purchase the pdf version of the book but if you want the hard copy we have the links here on the top just click on this you will be taken to a page where we have explained detailed uh, in detail about the environment book its sample copies table of contents and everything so all these links will also be included in the description so to buy it on amazon just click on this link you will find the product on amazon you can also type in PMF and in the top of the search you would see PMFIS environment. You can see it has got a rating of more than 4.8. So this speaks volumes about the quality of the book. There you can also check the pictures of the original book. So I would say this book is worth it even though the price might look a little steeper but it is, it is a 500 page book which is a color print. So the color print is expensive so the price is on the steeper side but i would say it's a great value for money i would recommend everyone to consider this book definitely it it will help you ace through your preparation and it will save you a lot of time and money hope i was able to convey my point right thank you for watching keep supporting pmfis thank you